dear learner following our last lecture we'll draw uh, or we'll connect this node perfectly okay so to do it uh, first of all i will uh, delete them by taking this option geometry cursor i'll select and yes 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 delete then i'll go to 3d view let's see here only a node is available now how will draw beam here okay so to draw beam column to draw beam and column we'll use this option first actually we have several method uh one by one we'll learn everything i'll click here so clicking here just simply click on that node and that node that's it okay again click here and click here see our beam have been created and if you if you see uh the beam one and two beam are available here okay from node a to node b here the uh, number are also added here so this is uh node 28 then 29 and 30 so uh how uh we have drawn it's available here again we have another method to do it and a uh, very easy method actually so to do it i'll go here and i'll take this node cursor and i'll select all of them and after that i'll go here geometry then add beam sorry uh, connect beam so connect beam along the three direction actually x y and z so in which direction we have to draw it now so uh let's say first of all we draw in uh, z x direction this is the x direction so i'll click here x and you can see the four member are created then click ok it's available now also we have to add this dot okay so i'll uh, press ctrl and click here and i'll click here then i have selected all of them again i'll go here geometry then i'll go here beam along now in z direction okay this is the z direction so beam connect beam along z axis and click okay see in this way we are able to draw it very easily very easily we are able to draw it now uh we'll replicate that in y direction so same as previous i'll click here and by taking our uh, actually escape we have two way to do it simply click here and only select node so all node have been selected except our beam now we'll go for replication let's say for uh, let's go for fast way so i'll go here yes save it yes here transitional repeat and then first of all i'll go in top direction i'll go in top direction so to do it let's say uh, our uh, structure is two story or three story let's say three story and our height is 10 feet and in which direction we need that replication in y direction in y direction so 10 10 10 now what do you want do you want to uh, draw uh, this link or column or beam also or only that link so um, in our previous lecture we have learned about that i'll simply click here and click okay you see it's now available now again i'll go here in plus z direction and from here by taking not cursor i will select all of them i will go to isometric view i'll go to isometric view and i'll connect them so go to go here geometry then connect beam along first x and again go here geometry connect beam along z that's it see we have done it now again escape and uh go here and i'll 
select the bottom node for our foundation level i'll go here for 3d and i'll go transitional repeat here transitional repeat and for transitional repeat uh, our uh, value of y in minus 5 feet is step number one and it will be bottom ratio that means let's say it should be four feet and link will be connected okay uh, let's say uh, no link will be connected only that uh, node link okay so here our node is available you can see our node is available i will go here for font and also by pressing control i'll select them also and again i'll go here and if i go here here and along y so uh, uh we'll connect them along y and click okay okay it's done and now if we go here see, everything is fine okay all line as a beam and column we have created so that was the way to do it we have several way to do it you can apply any of them okay now our next step now following our previous model we'll draw beam and column okay or we define beam and column properties to our model so what is beam uh, horizontal element here we have drawn as a beam or beam and the vertical element are drawn here is column okay so first of all i'll go here see property base click here in property base in property base nothing is available here so what we have to do actually we have to add a new section or anything actually so uh they have many options you will get a option like edit then you will get a option like section database or um wait for some time okay section database so uh, you'll get many available section and if you go here for materials you'll get the materials database you close it then if you click here you will get defined section so as we are practicing and as we're learning how we'll use this software actually after that we'll go for our a real project but uh, before that we have to learn how to use this software properly so to do it uh, i'll go here now only for defend and here i will defend our beam section and column section so to do it i will take here every section is available we'll take a rectangular section for now so um, from here also you have to select materials type so steps of material seats it's concrete and uh, the concrete properties also will define it later okay so what will be the uh, value now i will uh, take the yd that means depth depth of the section so i'll take it 1.5 that means 18 inch and our width i will consider 10 inch that means 0. 0 0.833 clear uh the width that's it so if you uh double click here or uh if you give here 10 and sorry if you divide 10 with 12 you will get 0 0.833 that's it and then click add one section have been added if you see our section 18 into 10 have been added now we need another section for column so i'll take column as a 12 inch that means one feet into one feet one feet into one feet then again click here so two sections have been added here the one is reference r1 that are acting as a beam and r2 that is acting as a column okay now we have to define it or we have to assign it here how will do it actually to do it we have different way to do it let's say um, if all of that section are same simply select this option and click assign to view that means if you use this option or if uh, after selecting any of that section it will be assigned to all of that section 
all of that member so uh, we are not going to do that because uh, we have different different section for uh, column and for beam so what we'll do i will use that option assign to selected beam otherwise they have another option also use cursor to assign by selecting a member let's say select a member and then use this option and click assign and click on by one it's also you can do it but we will not do it we'll use that option assign to selected beam so let's say uh, if i select a beam okay we have to take our geometry cursor to select a beam click here a beam have been selected and see now assign to selected beam this option is available and uh, take uh, selecting any of them if you click assign this section will be assigned here so we'll not do it one by one i'll click here so uh, then i'll click escape how we'll do it i'll go here select option then they have option beam parallel to beam parallel to x so first of all x i will select all of the all of our beam so here uh, actually every element here mentioned as a beam when vertical it's column when horizontal it's beam uh, then i'll click here beams parallel to x so all beam parallel to x have been selected again go here select beam parallel to z so all beam parallel to z have been selected now uh, it's already selected our beam uh, i mean our section r on it's all uh, also this option is available assign to selected beam click assign click yes that's it so this is the way to define our beam now we'll go for column let's say we can uh, we can do it uh, another way we can do it another way how i'll go here this view simply select all of that column press control again select all of them again all of them just must remember must remember that a uh, beam cursor or geometry cursor should be connected but if you select this option or i mean beam cursor only then only beam element element uh, acting as a beam will be selected and if you use that geometry cursor beam node everything will be selected actually so we'll use this option now see if we go in 3d view all of our elements have been added and also here also here our this beam also selected that means we are not able to do it in this way uh, what you can do that pressing Control click just like that and we can select all of that member again will not use that option also skip so again i'll go here select then go parallel beam parallel to y see all column have been selected now i'll select sorry first of all select this one then go here select parallel to y and come here as n yes that's it so this is the way to define our beam and column okay so uh, we you are absolutely um, okay for any way or for any method you want to use i will close it now if i go here in 3d view see now it's visible to us that we have creating something so this is the way to uh, complete this section now we'll go for our in our next lecture we'll go for another section actually and i hope uh, you are learning something uh, from us and uh, if you are learning something uh, from us then i would request to please subscribe to our channel and also leave a comment that and if you uh, if you have any confusion or if you need to know something else then also you can comment us thank you thank you very much